friends and welcome back to our channel. Today, I'm going to teach you how to change improper fractions into mixed numbers. But before that, shout out muna tayo kay Mayor Ahong Chan. Thank you so much, Mayor, for visiting us this morning. And shout out din sa aking kaibigan ni si Mr. Alex Ando from Cordoba, Cebu. If you're new to this channel, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you'll be updated for my coming videos. Okay, let's start. Example number one, nine-fifth. So this is improper fraction. Then we'll try to change this into a mixed number. So how can a fraction be called an improper fraction? An improper fraction is a fraction that has a greater value in the numerator and lesser value in the denominator, just like this one. So 9 over 5. So this is improper fraction because the numerator is greater than the denominator. So how do we change this? So we just simply divide this one. So 9 divided by 5. So let's try to solve. 9 divided by 5. So 9 divided by 5. So it is 1. So multiply. 1 times 5 is 5. The next step, we have to subtract. 9 minus 5 equals 4. Now, okay, look. So, from here, we go down there, and the third step is here. So, this is the first. So, this will become the whole number. Then, this one in the bottom will become the numerator. Then this one here will become the denominator. So again, 1 will become the whole number. Then 4 here will become the numerator. Then this one will become the denominator. So 9 fifth will change to mixed number will become 1 and 4 fifths. Okay, example number 2. 7 over 3. So we'll change this to mixed number. So again, we just have to divide 7 divided by 3. 7 divided by 3. So 7 divided by 3, that is 2. Multiply this one. 2 times 3 equals 6. Then we have to subtract. So 7 minus 6 equals 1. So the answer here is 2 and one third two and one third this one example number three eight over six so with a soul eight divided by six okay let's try eight divided by six the answer is one and multiply 1 times 6 is 6. Then we have to subtract. So 8 minus 6 equals 2. So from here we go down. Then the last step is here. So 1 and 2, 6. 1 and 2, 6. So this one is not yet the final answer because 2 and 6 can be reduced into lowest terms. So, 2 and 6 has the greatest common factor of 2. So, 2 divided by 2, that is 1. Then, 6 divided by 2, that is 3. So, let's try to write this down. 1 third. Then, just copy the whole number. So, the final answer is 1, 1 and 1 third. Example number 4, 11 over 7. So it's so, let's divide 11 divided by 7. So 11 divided by 7, that is 1. So multiply 1 times 7 is 7. So subtract, 11 minus 7 is 4. So the answer is 1 and 4 over 7. So 1 and 4 over 7. Example number 5. 
10 over 9. Okay, let's divide. 10 divided by 9. So 10 divided by 9, that is 1. Then multiply 1 times 9 is 9. Then we have to subtract. 10 minus 9 is 1. So the answer is 1 and 1 over 9. 1 and 1, 9. 1 and 1, 9. Example number 6. So 15 over 13. So again, let's try to divide. 15 divided by 13. So 15 divided by 13, that is 1. Multiply 1 times 13 is 13. Subtract 5 minus 3, that is 2. Then 1 minus 1, that is 0. So the answer is 1 and 2 over 13. 1 and 2 over 13. Example number 7. 13 over 10 or 13 tenths. Let's divide this one. 13 divided by 10. So 13 divided by 10, that is 1. Multiply 1 times 10 is 10. Subtract 3 minus 0 is 3. Then 1 minus 1 is 0. So the answer is 1 and 3 tenths. So 1 and 3 tenths. So hanggang dito na lang muna tayo mga bata. I'm sure that you have learned something from our lesson today. And again, please do not forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. Alam!